how do we get electricity from this level to that level? Now, many of you, if you've been plugging into uh, Intercept, you present, so you've heard Joe uh, give some of the answers. I did this for 10 years. I built these houses for 10 years, and this was always a challenge for me. How do we get the electricity from the first floor to the second floor when you're using a top joist or a top flange joist hanger? Joe said, it's easy. I said, well, no, it's not easy. I've done it, and it's, it's hard. It's a real pain. He says, no, 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 it's easy. Let me show you, and this is what he showed me. So let's take this apart here for just a moment. And so now we're, we're in the process of building. We have built our, our first floor deck. We've hung our joists there. And now everything is, is flushed out. This is our subfloor, our three quarter inch subfloor. It comes all the way to the outside of the wall. Now we need to drill for electricity. We remember we have a blue line on our wall panel so that means there's an electrical chase going down. How are we gonna run that electric down and be able to access it? Because if we go straight down, it's gonna go straight into the foam of the panel below. Well, this is a situation where we take our drill and instead of drilling straight down, like we typically would, if we were gonna go into a basement or into an area that, that has that rim joist, we set our drill at an angle and we run now. I've already drilled this for sake of time and noise and making me look good on camera. Uh, so I already, I already ran that through. But you see the angle that it ran at instead of going straight down. So now as the drill follows through, it comes out the side of the panel below. And you can see that in the second camera. There's the, there's the drill coming through. And now look what happens when we put our wall panel back in place. And as Joe mentioned in the, in the video, it's helpful if you bend over the end of the wire so that it follows through. And now we feed it down the chase. And you see it come right out the bottom. It's that simple. It really is that simple. And with this situation, we're up in that cavity. Now this is pretty close. And this is a nine inch floor joist, usually you're gonna have a 12 inch floor joist and it give you a little bit more room. Maybe I should have drilled a little bit of a steeper angle, but it still works. Now we have this cavity below the, the floor to be able to work with, um, below the subfloor and in that joist cavity to work with, to run our wires to use as a chase. It really is simple.